The first construction we're going to do today is to create a tangent line to um, a circle from a point not on your circle. So the first thing you're going to start with is just to um, take your first start with a point that's going to be the center of your circle and now construct a circle using that point. And now place a point outside of your circle and that's where we're going to create our tangent lines. So from this point outside of our circle there are two tangent lines that would come from this point. You could have a tangent line that goes towards the bottom of your circle and a tangent line that goes towards the top of your circle. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to connect the center and the point outside of your circle. That line segment we just created is going to be the diameter of a new circle that we're going to construct. So since this is a diameter, we need to know what the center is. So all I'm going to do is take my compass and I'm going to create the bisector of segment CP. So I'm going to take my compass, make sure it's open more than half the length of the line segment, make arcs above and below, and then repeat my steps over at point C. So when I now use my ruler and connect those two points, I'm going to do this line very lightly. That line shows me where the center of my new circle is going to be. So this is now the center point. And I'll put a little two for circle two. So now that's center. So I'm going to put my pointer on that and put so C and P are the endpoints of the diameter. So now when I put my compass on the center and one of the endpoints, I should be able to construct a circle that goes through C and point P. And there we go. And so now the important part of this construction is where the two circles intersect. These two points where they intersect I'll put intersection 1 and intersection 2 are where the tangent lines can be drawn. So if I go back to point P, that was the original point we started with, point P, and I now go to my first intersection point and connect them, that gives me a tangent line, and I'll actually, let me extend it, that gives me a tangent line from point P to circle C. The reason that this works and that we know for sure that is a tangent line, because if I take that point of tangency and the center of my old circle, or I guess this C is now on my new circle, that should be a right angle because I am connecting a tangent line to a radius of a circle. And the reason that that is a right angle is because if I look at the new circle that I've constructed, this is an inscribed angle for the new circle and when I extend that angle out its intercepted arc for the new circle is the semicircle it's 180 degrees so that has to be 90 degrees and therefore that is a tangent line to circle C.